hello YouTube welcome back to the Bison Workshop I'm Bob and today we're going to go ahead and uh, get back on this 109 lathe we're almost there uh, so let's put you down here to the bench and we'll uh, get you up to date all right, so what we've done here is on the end here I put a plug that came out of a computer power supply and that way you can unplug it if you need to move it and then it'll come in and then it goes down and hooks all into the box we've got everything wired so I just mounted the uh, bridge rectifier right there beside in between these two pieces here and the switch and covered everything with shrink heat shrink I grounded it to the uh, body of the box I got power going from here to the switch on the black and then from the switch over to the end which is the last one here this one here this one here is out to the bridge rectifier to the positive side right, right here underneath underneath these two wires all right then you've got the uh, neutral which comes from the switch or from the plug to this and then it also goes from this to the bridge rectifier so you're going to need two pieces of wire one coming from the plug and then one going to the bridge rectifier all right so now this ac will be turned into dc now blue is positive black is ground and black is normally ground on a 12 volt system or a DC volt uh, then I put this plug in the place so that the motor can be unplugged it's just a two prong plug and we're going to make some kind of a mount to mount that right there and then I made this plate to cover it all so this plate will go in there just like so got this hooked up and I went and got a computer cord so now we can plug that into the lathe and plug it up and hope we don't have no fireworks <laughs> so make sure that this is turned down and the power is off all right so we got power See, that thing doesn't start until it gets three quarters of the way. need to do some wire policing here make that look a little better and mount the lathe to it now I've also made another plate for this 
and I'm going to call this a deflector plate. So basically what that does is go right there on top of that and it's slanted down right here to keep shavings from going down in here. So this will mount set right there then we'll set the lathe on it and put our bolts in it. So I'll go ahead and put this lathe on here and bolt it down. Now what we've done is we're using toilet bolts with a chrome acorn type nut and that will come up through. Of course we're going to have a problem with this one. I just now realized that we're going to have a problem getting that in there because the switch is in the way. So basically we just have to take this loose, put our bolt up through there. I hope I don't have all the wiring too tight where I don't have any flexibility. Right, let's see what happens we probably are going to have to put a tensioner on it that's why I left this bracket on there uh, just in case I needed to use that for a tensioner because there's, there's always a possibility of putting something down here to spring up against it to hold that tight but we're going to see so let's plug this up and give it our first spin But just to make sure that it don't uh, slam on me, I'm gonna hold it and then let it go, let go of it gradually. I don't like the potentiometer. I do not like that potentiometer. But uh, I'm going to leave these two wires here in play, uh, and I'm just going to cut cut them off, put heat shrink on them, the ends, to make sure they don't touch nothing, and then we're just going to wrap all those together. That way, if somebody later on wants to put a thermo protecting switch in it which is already in there it just needs to be wired uh, I'm not going to wire it because I never wire any of them anyway like that so 
we're just going to cut these off. And we did get the tool post fixed. Uh, I just put grease inside of it and it works pretty good now. Um, the next video will be demonstration and showing everything that's going to go with it. Um, I wanted to try to do some kind of a shield around the uh, the fan or the uh, the fins, but I'm kind of limited to how I can do that. I could probably use a hose clamp. make a piece of metal to go over but we'll we'll discuss that in a later date uh that's not real important right now uh so the next thing that we're going to do is show a demonstration got oil that was in that chuck when i oiled that chuck <laughs> slung it everywhere but this is going to be a nice looking lathe it's going to work pretty good, we hope. Uh, we won't know that until the fat lady starts singing. Um, I do see something here. I'll show you what I've got going on here. I see a problem already with this stuff right here. See how it's bubbling up when I tighten that screw down? We may have to take and cut around that so that the screws not hitting this part uh, because that's going to collect shavings in fact there's already a shaving down inside that one so we may just go ahead and cut that out around there and I mean who knows maybe I can just cut straight across the bottom of the screw all the way across but I think it would look better and more direct if you was to take and just cut a circle out of it uh, I thought this chip pan uh, deflector was a good addition to it. So you got the, the deflector here that even if shavings get up in there, it's not going anywhere but out this hole and down on the ground. So because there's a little hole right there on the bottom. Uh, you guys have a good one. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Later.